After the president's speech, Republican Senator from Florida, Marco Rubio, went on the floor and he said that Amer the president is making America look like a third world country by talking about the middle class and that he's speaking about class warfare and he should be ashamed of himself. And many other Republicans went on the Senate floor and the floors and started condemning the president for stating what was actually true. The Republicans are trying to balance our budget on the backs of the middle class after the wealthy were the recipient of tax cuts proportionally done towards them. Now, the reality is we are having class warfare. And to not name it is malpractice. There is class warfare in this country when 1% of the population earns 20-something percent of all income. There is class warfare when 1% of the population owns 40% of the wealth. There is class warfare when the working man is taxed at 35% and the rich man is taxed at 15%. There is class warfare when to make better interest on your money buying the same type of certificate is earning more because he has more wealth to put in that bank than the average man. It is class warfare when the only person who can go onto public land and take advantage of the natural resources that belongs to all Americans are able to profit from that, get a tax break known as tax breaks for depletion allowances, and after their capital has been repaid, still the profits from the resources that had belonged to all Americans go into those stockholders of the company. It is class warfare that large corporations can purchase much cheaper than small corporations. It is class warfare because they can take the little the little companies out of business in an unregulated economy. This country, the current structure, was designed so that those who already have or have a lot continue to grow much faster than those who don't. It's not just that taxes aren't paid proportionally. The fact of the matter is the growth rate for the rich is much larger than the non-existent growth rate for the middle class. This is not things being pulled out of the air. These are things that are verifiable. Over the last 30 years, if you take a look at the income of the middle class, it has gone nowhere. And you take a look at the income of the most wealthy people, and it has skyrocketed. We have not shared in the wealth, but we have taken most of the pain. These are not things that are caused by bad people. This is just the policy. This is the type of capitalism that we have decided to institute. Whereas in Germany, half the workers, half of a board of a corporation must have the workers involved. Here, the workers are a commodity. And whose economy is doing better? The reality is, again, until we look at the word class warfare. There is class warfare in America. And 98% of Americans are getting their butt kicked. And until Americans understand that and forget about the rhetoric they hear on the right-wing echo chamber until they forget the misinformation that is being given by the Fox Newses, until they get around the timidity of the mainstream media who refuses to go into detail of what really ails our economy, we're going nowhere. So it is incumbent on those who can really see the big picture, who can really see 
the current demise of the American culture come in, not because of the middle class, not because of those who really want to work but can't work, but because the country is systematically being destroyed by the wealthy who has no care for the country. They are unpatriotic and they will go wherever capital goes. In other words, they've, they've said it in no uncertain terms. You don't give us what we want. We will take our capital elsewhere. Un-American. That is what we're living with. It is class warfare. The government who should be we, the people, is comprised of one half that says, yeah, we're mostly the people, and the other half that says, we don't care about the people. So please, Let's get real and see what's really happening in this country today so that tomorrow we can actually give a real country back to our kids.